Hi, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Sajid, and you're watching my YouTube channel. And uh, in this video, we will learn JavaScript statements. Okay, so uh, what are the statements? So let's start and learn them. So we have an example here. For example, this is a code of um, this is one HTML document where we have uh, HTML and JavaScript code. So here we see that we have in script tag uh, we have this code of JavaScript. So these JavaScript uh, code lines are uh, called statements. Like here we have four statements, statement one, two, three, four. In first statement, we are defining three variables and then assigning value to them. X is equal to five, Y is equal to six, and Z is equal to X plus uh, Y. Uh, and then we have uh, summed them up and store the value in Z. And then we are uh, with, uh, assigning this Z to this demo. Uh, HTML tag is here P and uh, we are giving HTML uh, setting inner HTML of this element demo right so the of answer will be 5 and plus 6 11 so on the right side you can see the value of Z is 11 right so purpose here is not to like explain this example but to tell you that these line of code which we see here these are called statements of JavaScript language, okay? So what are JavaScript programs? As you know, not only JavaScript, but in general, a computer program is a list of instructions to be executed by a computer, right? This is quite clear. And in a programming language, the, these programming instructions are called statements, yeah? So whatever we write, the line of codes, these are like statements. And a JavaScript program is a list of programming statements. So these are sort of, you can say, um, definitions of uh, uh, like what is uh, what are statements and what is a computer program. So JavaScript program is a list of programming statements. In HTML, JavaScript programs are executed by the web browser, right? So whatever we write in the web page or HTML document, uh, the JavaScript code inside is executed by the web browser in which that HTML document is loaded. Yeah. So next look at JavaScript statements in more detail. JavaScript uh, statements are composed of further we can categorize them as like values, operators, expressions, keywords and comments yeah so these statements tell the browser for example the below one this example here this statement tells the browser to write hello dolly inside an html element with id is equal to demo so document dot get element by id demo dot inner html this statement we have seen in our previous videos as well so here we are putting hello dolly this string um uh, in an uh, element whose uh, id is demo yeah so let's see here see here uh, we have this statement of javascript and this we have uh, uh, assigned this hello dolly to this p tag with id demo and here is the output we can see right so let's move forward most javascript programs contain many javascript statements right this is quite simple statements are executed one by one in the same order as they are written javascript programs and javascript statements we can say are often called javascript code yeah so these are by now we are having statements so uh, as so definitions of different things so it's better you just memorize them so that we, when you talk about uh, these things you use uh, standard or technical proper terms 
Further, let's look at the semicolons. Semicolons separate JavaScript statements. Here, see, like we have one statement declaring three variables, and then we have semicolon at the end. Then we are assigning value of five to and uh, to a variable, and then this variable we we define in above statement, and it's ending with semicolon. So add a semicolon at the end of each executable statement. Yeah. So what happens? Okay, for in this code, again uh, we have this statement separated by semicolon, and we have their addition, and then we are assigning to this p tag. Yeah. Okay, so answer is eleven. Next one separated by semicolon, multiple statements in one line are allowed. So here we can write multiple statements separated by semicolon on one line so this is allowed you can do this okay on a web page uh, some on one web page on some pages you might see examples without semicolon that also works yeah ending statements with semicolon is not required this is like uh, you can say is allowed in javascript but highly recommended why because it will make your code more and more uh, readable and easy to understand next we have JavaScript white space JavaScript ignores multiple spaces you can add white spaces to your script to make it more readable following that lines are equal see here let person is equal to uh, he g if I'm uh, correctly reading pronouncing it and then let person is equal to he here we don't have spaces and both statements are correct yeah so good practice is to put spaces around operators like plus equal to multiplication division so it's better to put uh, spaces around them so that they are more easily readable okay. next look at uh, javascript line length and line breaks so for better readability, um, uh, for better readability, programmers often like to avoid code lines longer than 80 character. Okay, so if a JavaScript statement does not fit on one line, the best practice is to break it uh, after an operator. So here we see this statement. Uh, this was becoming long, so we are breaking it at this assignment operator equal sign. Yeah, then remaining code is going on the second line and then we have uh, indicating semicolon the end of the code so here uh, is the example you can see here the statement is broken at equal sign or assignment and still it works fine the output is hello dolly yeah okay. next uh, concept is javascript code blocks JavaScript statements can be grouped together in code blocks inside curly brackets. Yeah, so we can make code of a, uh, a block of code by and then um, um, around the the code we put these uh, uh, curly brackets. The purpose of uh, code blocks is to define statements to be executed together, and one such example is JavaScript functions. Here we see the example. We have this definition of function my function and then document and inside we have two statements which are printing or putting this value hello dolly and how are you and you can see this starting bracket and ending bracket curly bracket and then function we will learn about functions in the uh, upcoming video in more detail but here is the cons uh, you just have to look at the syntax that we can have block of code with curly brackets yeah so look at here here we have this function with two statements in them which are sort of code of uh, code block and when this code block is executed the statements inside are executed one by one by the browser so here we are invoking or calling this function from the on click uh, uh, you can say property or method of the button so when I click the button what will happen these two statements will be executed one by one and hello Dolly how are you yeah so these are printed again printed one by one 
and because of these two are printed because they are together in the code block okay so that is how you make uh, code blocks further uh, javascript keywords the statements often start with a keyword yeah to identify the javascript action to be performed so here we have a list of uh, some important keywords which we will learn uh, gradually in this uh, video tutorial series these are like var let const is constant variable let if switch for function return try so these are uh, uh, these keywords are quite familiar if you have seen a um, uh, or no Java programming uh, also in this uh, uh, my channel we have a complete uh, Java co uh, course so these are quite similar if you have learned Java uh, JavaScript uh, uh, is much easier for you yeah quite quite uh, a lot of keywords are quite similar so uh, JavaScript keywords are reserved keywords reserved words cannot be used as names for the parameters or variables so keep remember this thing these words are actually sort of uh, are part of javascript language these are cannot be used as like variable names or anything else so for this for is for uh, is a keyword of uh, javascript and it has a meaning and it has uh, some action uh, when you write it it has some action to be performed yeah so Keep remember these important keywords and also we will introduce more uh, as we move forward. So here I will wrap up my video uh, and let's uh, just have a recap. We have learned JavaScript keywords, what are they? We have seen Java code blocks. Then we saw line length and line breaks, how to implement it. Then we have seen white space usage semicolon usage then we have the uh, definition of the statements and what are the programs yeah so that's it um, i hope uh, the video has been informative for you and you learned uh, a lot of new concepts here and uh, stay tuned with me for this exciting journey of learning javascript and um, uh, please share subscribe uh, my channel share the video uh, to your other friends and colleagues I'll be back uh, soon with another video by the time take care bye bye Allah Hafiz and bye for now